What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are checking out Jeskai Fires. Uh, with some new additions from Akoria that I am very, very excited about. I've seen a few of these lists running around. Uh, I did play Jeskai Fires just a little bit uh, pre Akoria, uh, but I honestly, it wasn't my favorite deck at the time. I think it's very, very good, obviously. Uh, I mean, standard winning, obviously, but uh, it just wasn't my favorite deck. But uh, I do really, really like some of the new includes here. So we're going to run through this list really quickly and then we'll jump into the game. So uh, one really nice include uh, is Karuga. Uh, this card is ridiculously good for this deck. Uh, one, it's a guaranteed 5-drop, uh, and not only that, but uh, ideally it's going to be drawing you a lot of cards when it comes into play as well. Uh, a lot of this deck was already above 3 mana, so it really didn't matter. Uh, this is essentially a bit of a free companion, so uh, it is a 5-4 when it comes into play. You draw cards uh, for each other permanent you control with con converted mana cost 3 or greater. Obviously, the entire deck is uh, CMC 3 or greater, so this just fit in very, very nicely, in my opinion. Uh, as far as two drops go, we've got uh, two Brazen Borrower. No surprise there. This is pretty much exactly what we expected uh, for Bone Crusher Giant and for Teferi Time Raveler. Uh, we also run the full four Deafening Clarion. I know some, some lists may not run the full four, but uh, I, I do think it's worth it, uh, especially with a lot of <coughs> excuse me the aggro decks running around right now. Uh, it's very nice to be able to just sweep the board off of that. Uh, Sphinx of Foresight, a really good card for this. Uh, not only if it's if it's in the opening hand, not only do you get that initial scry, uh, but it's really, really good in tandem with things like Fires of Invention, where you drop fires and then you've got a turn four Sphinx. Uh, and now all of a sudden you have a 4-4 four, four flyer in the air and you're scrying every turn, which is really, really nice. Uh, another new addition uh, is Narset of the Ancient Way. Uh, I'm really interested to test out this Narset. I love it. Uh, I've been against it a couple times, and it's been very, very good. Uh, it deals damage. It gains you a little bit of life. Uh, it gives you some mana. Um, it, it really, really does a lot of the stuff that this deck is going to need to do. So I'm excited to kind of test this out and see uh, exactly how good it is, especially in this list. Uh, we do run the full four Cavalier of Flame as well. And then we've got three Kenrith, the Returned King, and we actually do run a Swamp in this list, so uh, we can kind of reanimate creatures from our graveyard if we would like to. Uh, in fact, the only mana we can't do is uh, put a 1-1 counter on target creatures, so uh, we can really utilize Kenrith very, very well in this list. We also have a 1 of Shark Typhoon. Now, uh, I do want to mention I pulled this list. This is not something that I created. This is kind of a standard base template for this deck. Uh, the one of Shark Typhoon is interesting to me. I want I, I want to see how good this is because, I mean, obviously a lot of this deck is just creature based. So is this in here just to cycle? Uh, I mean, it, it spits out a creature, so it's good. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little curious on this one. Uh, as far as our lands go, basic lands, we've got two mountain, two island, one swamp, one plains. Uh, and again, that one swamp is really in there for Kenrith, obviously. Uh, two Castle of Vantress. We've got four and four on Steam Vents and Hollowed Fountain, though only two on the Sacred Foundry. Uh, we're really looking to get this blue out quickly. Uh, we've got one Temple of Epiphany and one Temple of Triumph. We've got four Fabled Passage and then four full four uh, of the Triumph land here for this deck. So I'm excited to test this out. Again, I have not played this deck uh, in quite a while. Uh, it's been... Ugh, I don't know exactly how long, uh, but I, I have seen it played a lot uh, with Akoria now, and with this free, uh, you know, five four draw a bunch of stuff, I feel like it's, you know, it's a given. Uh, so let's test it out. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully you guys are doing really, really well today and having a fantastic Friday. Uh, made it through the week, guys. Very, very excited. Uh, one thing I do want to mention also, yes, we are going to keep this. Um, we just announced uh today and it may not even be up yet i'm realizing by the time this video goes up it may not be up so you might be the first to hear about it uh we are announcing our Acoria bundle giveaway uh so if you're interested in picking up a bundle you can certainly do that um we are excited to be giving a bundle away we haven't been able to do very many giveaways since shipping has really been uh kind of bogged down 
Um, but we're super, super excited to be giving away another bundle. Um, we have until May 16th, which is a Saturday. Uh, so you've got about three weeks uh, to, to enter the giveaway. If you're interested in doing so, all you got to do, be subscribed to the channel. Comment on any video with hashtag Acoria giveaway. Uh, it can be any video. It does not matter which one it is. If you do that, you're entered to win. Uh, and then, like I said, on the... Uh, on the 16th, we will pick that winner, and uh, we're really, really excited, actually, to to see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and do this here. We've got the fires next turn, uh, which is really, really nice. We don't really have a follow-up play is the only downside, but uh, we'll see. Banishing light, huh? Esper control list, sure. Oh, well, that's not bad. Um, let's activate this. Here, I think we kind of want to pull out the swamp. <laughs> um, it's kind of strange, but I'm going to pull out the swamp. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Right on um, I'm going to submit zero. Oh, I am not this up there we go. We got the lamb. Um, so yes, uh, we do. We are going to be giving away our bundle. We always do a giveaway, so I'm really excited to be doing another one. But it's just been a while. It feels bad not to not to give stuff away. Uh, it's kind of our way of giving back. Of course, you know it's a way to boost traffic and that kind of thing. Uh, that's no surprise to anybody. But uh, we are really, really happy to be giving away some some really cool stuff. Uh, let's do this and let's do this. What do we want to discard here? Um, I'm kind of thinking nothing. We've got some good stuff. <laughs> um, maybe that's wrong, but I'm kind of into it. Uh, did I plus to fairy? I think I did. Uh, anyway, yeah. So very happy to be giving that away if you're interested. But uh, looking at the deck list here, guys, what do we think? Do we think we're in a good position? I don't know 100% to be honest. Yep. This is an interesting list, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. I've not seen many Esper decks uh, running around. Yeah, you can kind of take any one of these. <laughs> And so far, we're not seeing any new cards out of this list. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> what do we want? It'd be great to get a fires, uh, just so we can start dumping out more stuff. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Sure. Makes sense. Hmm. Um, let's get the try land out there <clears throat> just to, to make sure that we've got, you know, as much stuff out as possible. I, got this. I think we're just going to drop this. Uh, it does draw us a card here and we get a Kenrith. That's not bad. Um, and they also, I mean, nat naturally they have to answer this because we'll be able to either kill Teferi or just start swinging in. Um, either way, it's great for us. Kind of wanted to save the Cavalier so if we do get a Fires of Invention, we can drop the Fires, then drop Cavalier, uh, and then give give everything haste. Uh, so then we can really, really do some damage. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Um... I hope you guys are enjoying Akoria as well. This this set is top notch. Absolutely love it. This list is interesting. I'm not sure. I mean, it's just a value like a control deck for for uh, Esper, but I I don't really think it's amazing. I will say. What do they get? Kaya's Wrath. Okay. Well. Yeah. The thing about Kaya's Wrath is it's not as good when you know there's a Kaya's Wrath. <laughs> um, 
We could also just brazen borrow. Or, oh no, okay, an opponent controls. I was gonna say we could brazen borrow our own guy. That would have been really funny. Um, let's do this. Here we go. Hmm. Let's kill Narset. You are a mighty warrior. And let's do this. That's how it was meant to happen. Um, I'm just going to pass. <laughs> if they want a Kai's Wrath, that's fine. I mean, they know we have the Cavaliers and the Bone Crusher Giant now. So, like, my assumption is they're not just going to pull the trigger on this Kai's Wrath just to kill only a 5-4. But they do have to do something about it. I mean, it's a three-turn clock right now. Not to mention we have to ferry up at four. So anything they play, we can... Any permanent they play, excuse me, we can bounce. So I feel like we're in an okay position, at least. Um, okay. I'm just gonna bounce the token, because then we can just kill, or, yeah, well, now we literally can. Um, well, in that case, I'm just gonna do this. Trust me, I have a plan. I'm gonna do that. We can't play around the wrath too long here, so I am gonna drop out one of these bone crushers, just to kind of entice them to utilize their turn here. Um, they kind of have to do something. I mean, that's just the reality of it. But then that drops them down, so they will have three mana left over, unless they have a land, in which case they'll have four. Um, but that's not going to get them to, like, Ashiok territory, for instance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think we'll be okay. And maybe I'm playing a little bit too conservatively. I, I don't know. This is where a bit of learning the deck is in order. What are you going to get with it? I mean, you got three options. Okay. I guess that makes sense since they do have the Kaya's Wrath, but like... My thing is I don't actually have to commit anything else to the board here. They have Borrower? No. Okay. I mean, sure. I'm just going to play this out and draw another card. It's a very interesting tempo -y deck. Um, so they are going to get something nice back here. Uh, which is, I mean, it's fine. I assume... Are they going to Kai's Wrath? <laughs> like... Yes, okay. I was about to say, they, like, kind of have to. Thassa. Okay, yeah, Thassa's sweet. I don't think they don't have any creatures to do it with, but sure. Let's get this out there. I'm going to discard this and just draw one. Um, don't particularly need that. Let's give this haste. Okay. So now we have another Cavalier in hand. Um, and so my assumption here is they get Ashiok, uh, put out a token, or get Teferi and bounce Cavalier. But Teferi bounce doesn't really do it. Uh, they can kill this with the Ashiok, but then we still have Cavalier up. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah, bouncer guy. Um, I'm going to play fires first. Why not? This, we can just bounce the token.
Technically, there's a game-winning play, but they can, I'm sure, do something about this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Got it. Um. We kind of have to bounce. Oh, excuse me. We cannot bounce the Ashiok. I see. Um. Well, let's just bounce this then. We'll cycle this. We don't need the uh, extra land here, but hey, we have it, so let's play it. Wish you could bounce. Bounce the Ashiok, that would have been nice. Um, well, I mean, they can ult Ashiok here. It's pretty good. We do have uh, Kenrith, uh, so we can just give everything trample, though. So that's worth noting. Uh, we can play two things out, Kenrith out being one of those, and then uh, really kind of do some damage. So we'll we'll see what they do. <clears throat> so Ashiok ult, you can cast three spells, face up cards your opponent owns from exile without paying their mana cost. So, okay, and they're not even going to do that. Okay, bounce fires, I assume. So, all right, let's count this up. One, two, three. That could play this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that could play this, and then we have one left over for hasty, right? Yes. We win. Yep. That's fine. Gotta love Kenrith, guys. Man, he punches through. Awesome. Game one. Done. Feeling good. Now, that was a bit of a grind. Uh, I never felt like we were not in a relatively commanding position. Um, I mean, the opponent certainly had some good plays. Don't get me wrong. But I never felt like they were about to take over the game, uh, so to speak. Um, so I think we're okay there. I honestly think they could have just ulted Ashiok there. Um, yeah, they cash in the Ashiok a little bit, but we had a lot more stuff in Exile. Like, they could have gotten the Teferi, gotten the Bone Crusher Giant. Like, I don't know. I feel like that might have been better. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. And it might not have mattered either, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we keep and we have fires. Like, it was great. Uh, we'll make sure land is in our top four here. Or our top three, excuse me. What are they? Oh, this is a deck I'd be interested in playing also. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. We don't need two Kenris. Obviously, we can't play two, so... Uh... We'll play this. We know what's on our deck, so we're not going to scry right now. Um, there's no point. But this gives us a turn three to fairy, turn four fires into Sphinx or Narset, uh, depending on what the opponent wants to do. Um... So this is a pretty solid hand. We'll keep the land on top so we can get the Kenrith out. <laughs> um, yeah, feeling pretty good. We also have this guy if we ever want to play him. Sure. Um, let's do this, and let's do this, and we'll just bounce this. Tempo him out. Draw another land. 
Most assuredly, we'll have the land we need. Questing beast, sure. Pretty solid. Okay, that was a huge mistake. They just should have attacked us there. That was kind of silly. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, let's see. I guess we could have killed the questing beast, but I mean, either way, we get to just block it here if we want, or just take the four. I'm probably just going to take the four. Um, because we can start trading damage if we would like to. And this way we draw a lot more cards off of uh, the Karuga. Take the five, excuse me. That's fine. We'll put that on the bottom. We certainly don't need another land at this point. And we got one anyway. Um, Sure. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's do... Hmm. I'm actually going to do this first, uh, solely because then we can see what we get here. Okay. I don't like playing this into a questing beast is my problem. Now, we can get rid of Kenrith if we would like to, to get rid of this. Um, don't know that that's great, because they probably just have another questing beast. I don't know. I'm going to try it. This is a bit of a bold play, so I fully understand this may be incorrect. Um, let's get rid of this, and let's get rid of that. Um, okay, well, there we go. We won it. <laughs> um, maybe they didn't have another questing beast. Uh, I don't like playing Narset into a deck where I know that they've got a questing beast, because obviously, you know, they've got a questing beast. It's going to threaten them. Clearly the opponent didn't realize, though, that you could just attack me and also kill the Planeswalker. Uh, that's kind of why Questing Beast is so good, so that was a bit of a misplay, I think, but that's okay. <clears throat> Game three, feeling good. Uh, so far, so good with this deck. This one is kicking some butt. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this is an easy keep. Uh, we'll fetch out a white turn one with this. That way we do have Deafening Clarion mana uh, and or Teferi mana. Uh, looks like we're against a Mardu deck. Um, okay, well, in that case, actually, let's not do that. Okay. Okay, four color. Sure. We could have shocked uh, ourselves just to have Brazen Borrower mana up. Um, that may come back to bite us. In this case, not the worst thing in the world. Um, let's do this, and... Let's drop a Teferi of our own. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, I'll do this, too. Let's try this. So we're both in you can't play instance or sorceries mode. <laughs> or excuse me, instance speed spells. I'll protect you. Interesting place to be. Um Oops. Let's do this. I think again we get the black mana here. I know that's really weird, but like it's just kind of what you do. Um Like, I don't really know what the best play is. Um, I'm just going to keep blessing up to Barry. That's more like it. I'm going to throw a Bone Crusher out there. I mean, we don't really have a whole lot of, like, amazing stuff. We're, we're lacking a land here. Uh, so we do run 28 in the deck, so my guess is we'll hopefully draw one. Uh, worst case scenario, we can do it with um, maybe not. Uh, I was going to say we can draw with the fairy. We can no longer do that. Sure. You got it. This is an interesting deck, by the way. Well, we got our land. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. We're not gonna draw off of this. Keep lessing up to fairy. I mean, they can bounce, tra cash in their Teferi if they wanted, but, um, and then they can Heartless Act something. Very cool. Oh, okay. Ruinous Ultimatum, huh? Well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> We don't have a great thing against that. Um, let's play this out there. Let's give it haste. Oops, we should have. Uh, that was a mistake. Um, that was a mistake. Um, misplaying a little bit this turn. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's... That's a fairy was gonna get annoying, so I'd rather get that out. Um, here they just get to ruinous ultimatum, though. I assume right? one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we will meet again. it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's kill Narset. Hmm. Alexa, stop. Sorry. Um. Okay, sure. Cool deck by the opponent. I like this one. Um, Ruinous Ultimatum, very, very good as it turns out. Uh, land, huh? These do, like, absolute nothing in this list, but that's okay. Um... I'm gonna do this and submit zero. Uh, choo, choo, choo. we'll get land out there. I kind of want them to try and kill everything. So, I mean, we've got Cavalier next turn. It's kind of my thought. So if they want to either bounce this or Heartless act this, that's fine. Uh, because I'd rather them do that to this than a Cavalier Flame, if that makes sense. Uh, so, very, very glad that we drew a card here. Oath, very good. They can kill our Teferi now if they would like. Very good interaction here. This is one we've seen before, though. Let's get this out there. I'm going to discard both of these, because neither one is very relevant right now. Um... Activate. Um, let's actually swing here. Let's get seven in uh, while they we know that they're going to plus this. Um, of course, we drew another Deafening Glareon. Uh, and then this way, you know, we're at least dealing some damage to them. We do have to finish the game at some point. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well done on the opponent's side. They are uh, having the answer for everything. Um, so in that case, maybe it was wrong. Oh, well. Uh, we'll discard both of these. <clears throat> I'm no longer all that interested in Teferi. They're going to get something back here, like one of their Planeswalkers. Uh, so if they want to get Narset back, that's fine. Wow. Okay. Um, why have we held on to the Bone Crusher Giant? This means we can kill Teferi and get out Bone Crusher. Now, they're going to get Teferi back, which is a bit annoying, but it's not a bad draw for us. Um... 
Yes, yeah, so you can get Teferi back. It's fine. Uh, let's do this. This is a grind, man. Let me tell you. They have, this is just a deck full of answers, uh, which is very, very sweet. And I mean, well done on the opponent's side, but... Yep, you got it. Sure. Makes sense. I'm going to put a stop on upkeep here so we can scry, I think. Kill this. Yeah. Um, hmm. Two, three, four. That leaves me five. I think we kind of have to here. Um, we may have lost this uh, now that they've got kind of their Planeswalker engine stuff going. We'll draw. <laughs> uh... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we'll pass. Uh, I mean, it is a flyer, to be fair. We can't play it on their turn. Um, like, we can't... Well, can we cycle it, though? Because it's not... It's not even casting a spell. It's cycling it. We might be able to do this. Wow, that's quite good. Yeah. We can cycle it. Woo! <laughs> we get a shark! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kill the planes here. <laughs> we have a shark. I love it. Um, I mean, with this combo of Planeswalkers, it's very near impossible, I think, for us to do anything. Okay, and they're they're just going to draw a bunch here. And that's not very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and concede here. They've got it. Um... I mean, they've got so much power on the field. Oh, and an Inspired Ultimatum. Yeah. Okay. Well done on the opponent's side. That was a grind, man. Let me tell you. Uh, that was a cool deck, I will say. I mean, two Ultimatums in one deck, potentially more than that. Um, well, no, they weren't running green. Uh, but that was a cool, cool deck. So, very fun. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this Jeskai Fires list. I think this is a very, very good list for standards still. Um, if anything, it just got a very easy upgrade. So, like, it's pretty perfect. Uh, hopefully you guys, if you've not already, uh, definitely check this list out. It's a fun one. It's a good one. It's very easy if, uh, you've already got the Jeskai list to just swap in. Like, there's literally three cards, uh, that you have to swap in, uh, which is pretty cool. So, try it out. Certainly recommend it. We'll, we'll have a second video with this list as well. So, uh, please do take a peek and see if you can find that when we get that one up. Uh, but also make sure you enter our Akoria giveaway. Uh, again, uh, winner will be chosen on May 16th. So you got about three weeks, guys. So thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for entering if you are entering the giveaway. And I will see you very, very soon in the next uh, gameplay video.